We're heading out to LA this morning, so we're checking in with our mama before we fly. Petiti. Hi, darling. Hi, Hi, Mama Bear. Where are you? Hi, beautiful. Where we're in Sydney? Sydney. Mummy was happy and healthy. She just was starting to have what seemed at the time like panic attacks. It was eventually misdiagnosed as depression and anxiety, and it took us four years to get a diagnosis as progressive supernuclear palsy, which is a neurological disease, and Lewy body's dementia. She's currently in 24-hour care. Our mama was the third Veronica. She came everywhere with us for such a long time. We really miss having her on the road with us. So when we're traveling, we always check in with her. She did a couple here last night. What happened? I don't know. I was afraid it wasn't the hospital or something. I wanted to get out. I don't know what it was. Louis body's dementia comes with a lot of hallucinations. It's very, very difficult knowing that you can't do anything to help. She has always been our best friend. And it's hard to watch somebody that you love so much not be able to have the freedom in ability that they had previously. That looks so pretty on And the prettiest color. Love you. Love you, Mama. Love you, beauty. Give me kisses. Love you, Mama. in LA and we have a couple days off now before we start our touring for World Pride. <laughs> so Logan and I got married last year and we've spent pretty much the rest of the time apart. So I'm so excited to see him. Good, good, how was the session? Yeah, it was good. Good? Yes, a bit tired because I'm so bloody jet lagged, but yeah, it was awesome. So Logan is an incredible actor. He did a TV series called V, which I thought was super cool because it's all about ufology. But the reason I love him is actually because he's an epic sustainable gardener. He's such a wild card. When you're around Logan, um, the world's just a more magical place. Okay, check out what, what we got. What are you doing? I can smell fire. I'm cooking us dinner. Oh. And guess what? Planted strawberries. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a few my ready favorite. for it. Oh my god. So we got the kale, oh. strawberries. Oh. Our garden in LA is like an extension of Logan's mind. He took me to his garden on the second date, actually. And I remember my mind being completely blown. He built this beautiful wonderland in his garden and it was very inspiring. It's honestly been the most life-changing thing for me. Getting to grow all our own stuff, just coming out here and picking what we eat. It's just everything's so fresh. You taste the difference. I've, yeah, you really taste the difference. You know? And then we used to have chickens. You feel empowered too, like the fact we grew this stuff. Yeah. Everything <laughs> I found on the side of the road, which I try to repurpose stuff because sometimes people's trash really is our treasure. I've had to draw the line a couple times, like, He's pulled over and found a toilet, and I'm like, we can't. Uh, would, I don't think we could do anything with that. It would that. make an amazing pot, and it would be I, hilarious. I've, no, there's absolutely no way that's happening. <laughs> I think she has to see my newest uh, little thing. She's probably going to be upset What's your newest about. thing? Come here, check it out. Oh, my god. It better not be the toilet. It's the best. Right here. Oh, my god. Yeah. It's a bicycle. Oh, no, babe. No, that's creepy. No, it isn't. That is so, where, where did you find that? It represents like childhood and like imagination. No. Mm -mm. It's terrifying. It looks like some child's bike that's been through a fire or something. I don't know why he's done this. It's just like creepy. When I touch something and I feel something, it's almost like there's a spirit inside it, right? So if you find something on the old side of the road that somebody's throwing away, well, these are years and years of people touching it putting their energy into it, and then I find it, and I'm like, you know what? This has a story. Let's keep it alive. Should I take it down? Yeah, we can't keep that. Kai and I have been seeing each other for a few weeks, and we're about to go on a trip together to Sedona, Arizona, which is one of my most favorite places in the USA. 
and they say that the best way to test a relationship early on is to go on a holiday together. We've got the car all packed and we're ready to go. Jessie's back in town and I've missed her very much, so I'm very excited that she's back. Um, I can't wait to just get some quality time with her because God knows I've been missing her like crazy. I love that on road trips you buy so many snacks for the trip but they all get eaten within the first 10 minutes of the trip and you know it's true, it happens every time. So we're driving along a couple of hours into the trip and then all of a sudden the car starts making this awful noise. I tell Kai to pull over and then the car just dies. The car was making this pretty horrible sound whenever I run the engine and it looks like something came apart underneath when I looked underneath and something's leaking. So Kai goes into emergency mode, calls AAA. We're on the side of the a busy road right now, but I don't know if it's the best idea for me to... Oh. That's the noise. Yeah. Do you hear it? Uh, it's, it's probably not a good idea. Nah. I'm not sure what it is. OK. Kai tries to kick the car over again, and it just continues to make this awful noise. Right. How far out from Sedona are we right now? Pretty far. Like what? How many hours? Like five. Five hours? Like five hours away from Sedona. Well, we don't know where we are waiting for AAA. Little, absolutely nowhere. Definition of stranded in the middle of nowhere. We don't know how we're going to get to Sedona oh, yet. Nowhere. All we can do is wait for roadside assistance. bartering sign because at one point Logan and I thought we wanted to barter with the neighbours and you know we had all this yeah. great produce and see what they had to offer us um, so we put this out the front it was kale Swiss chard and we had eggs from the chickens and we had them um, but nobody nobody <laughs> nobody came knocking they all thought we were weird for wanting to barter like that's the oldest thing there is in the world you know oh, sometimes you're yeah. a little weird but a that's little. okay it's why I love you takes one to no one yep you don't, you don't need a, a lot to be able to live wonderfully. You see, everybody pops a cork and they act like it's all fun and stuff, but you're actually destroying the champagne. What I heard from a man once was, you have to make it sound like an old lady farting. So it's very soft, you know? Very, listen, listen on the mic. That's not romantic at all. <laughs> listen. And we did not damage the champagne. Hey, fill her up. I'm not sure if I feel like drinking it anymore. I know. It totally it ruins the atmosphere. I'm sorry. Oh, I need you to take me to CVS because I have to buy lube for the outfits. Lube? Why? Yeah, the latex outfits. OK. We're going to need at least 10 tubes. It's a lot of lube. It's a lot of latex. Yeah. It's getting kind of dark now. Do you think we'll see some UFOs out here? Hope so. Hope one scoops me up, takes me home. So what was meant to be a 45 minute wait ended up being a four hour wait. Whoa, 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 I can't, we can't, we can't leave the car. It has all our stuff in it. Two tow trucks had actually diverted the jobs without telling us. So at that point, we call the police because we don't know what to do. Yeah, we're really nowhere. They should be, they should be sending out a unit too. Okay, thank you so much, I appreciate it. So after five hours, finally the police turn up and they bring a tow truck with them that then tow us to the nearest city, which is still an hour away. This is our vacation. <laughs> so we're not gonna make it to Sedona tonight, but at this point we're just relieved to be off the side of the road. So we're in a city of lie and we have to stay here overnight because they wouldn't drive us to Phoenix. Our holiday so far has been a bit of a disaster, but I think we've passed the relationship test. Oh my god. Heaven Party is a huge underground queer culture party for the LA scene. Do you know where the um, water-based lubricant is? I can't find the bodysuit. We're on any minute now. Now we have to run the set. 